Hey, I'm Jesse Adams, and I'm here in Austin, Texas at the Austin Micro Film Festival Spring 2022. We're going to have a great time. I'm going to get to do a little judging. I'm going to meet Michael Fair, the director of the Austin Micro Film Festival, and it's going to be great. So let's go inside, see what's going on. We're going to have a great time because we got a lot going on today. So excited to be here in Austin, Texas, right? With my best friend, man, Michael Fair, at the Austin Micro Film Festival this spring 2022. Well, you know, Michael can tell you better than I can about the festival and everything that's going on, so I'll let him tell you. Go ahead, Michael. Thank you for coming, Jesse. Hey, I appreciate you. I've known Jesse for about 15 years already, uh, if not more, which just makes me look older. So, I <laughs> But anyway, the Austin Microfilm Festival, this is our spring 2022 edition. We usually have the festival two times a year. We hope to have it three times this year. And basically, the Microfilm Festival covers every genre, including music videos. And the only stipulation is that your film has to be six minutes or less. And so this festival gives a lot of opportunities to a lot of people. We're going to screen over 50 films today. And people are going to be excited to, to see their film for the first time in front of a theater and see it for the first time in front of an audience. And with that limitation, you get so much content in a short period of time. In only a four-hour period, we're going to get through more than 50 films. So we're excited to be doing this. We started it in 2018. We never stopped. We just kept doing it. Even when COVID happened, we moved to a drive-in theater for a while. This is our first time at Southwest Theaters. We're building a relationship with yet another theater here in Austin, and we're excited to be back indoors for this event as well. So. Great, man. Now, now tell me, what's so what's so what's so good about the micro festivals? Like, how does that help you? I mean, overall, I mean, why micro festivals? I know you have comedy film festivals sure. and documentaries and After Dark here in Austin. Why micro film festivals? Well, the micro film festival is meant to be our entry-level festival. Um, with films that are less than six minutes, all of our other film festivals, which we have 10, our other film festivals have a, a time limit of 30 minutes. So this one allows us to accept more films, send out a lot less rejection letters, and really get people, many times, their first film festival experience ever. And I call it the clockwork orange effect. And for those people who aren't old, like I am, and don't know about <laughs> Stanley Kubrick's movie, that's the scene in Clockwork Orange where you sat down and, he, and they put the things in his eyes and he had to watch all these movies over and over. And when you watch a festival like this, you get that because you'll get a drama from the United Kingdom, you'll get a horror film from Texas, you'll get a comedy film from Louisiana, you'll get a, you know, some type of other film you know, from Oklahoma or wherever. All over the world, people submit to Austin Micro. And it's almost like there's no rhyme or reason. It's just contest. It's movie, 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 movie. And it's very, very different from every, every other film festival we have. When people come here, man, they're like, I've never seen anything like this. People come here and see this for the first time, they're like, I've never seen anything quite like this in my life. Because it's just so many different ideas and flavors just bundled up on one screen. Wow, man. That is awesome. You know, just at this festival, a lot of it accomplished, right? It sure. even gets people worked up to even make movies. Sure. Now, the comedy film festivals. Sure. Those are awesome. And just tell me, where are you going to be next? Well, we're going to Houston next. H-Town, H-Town. H-Town is where it all started. I did a 15-year uh, career in Houston um, as an audio engineer on location on set, and I also worked as a production manager on many productions. I'm not in production anymore, but the Houston Comedy Film Festival lives on. It started in 2008. It started this entire thing, and it's very, very popular. We feature a, a comedy lineup that is very diverse. We have everything from comedy series episodes, proof of concept, all the way to uh, short comedy films that are less than 30 minutes. We do dark comedy, mockumentary, um, uh, funny music videos. Uh, we, we do it all. Uh, funny animation. Um, so we really get around with all different types of comedy. The Houston Comedy Film Festival. We're really excited to always go back to the to the main one, to the love, to where it started. So Wow. Yeah. Now, I hear you come back to Austin and met, right? And that's a Correct. little bit different, right? That's a type. Is it the same? I know it's comedy and after dark. Can you explain after dark a little yes, bit? Yes, I can. And the reason why, so I was living in Houston and I was working in a long time. And then I, I got an opportunity to work in post-production in Austin. So I moved. So the whole idea was, let's open up this Austin Comedy Film Festival and close down Houston because I don't live there anymore. Mm -hmm. and I don't want to drive. Right. Well, the day I go to close the Houston Comedy Film Festival, we got ranked in the top 100 oh. of film festivals in the entire world. There you go. So couldn't close that. That wasn't going to work. So we kept Austin and Houston going. 
Austin, we have always done short film festival or you know short films in Austin. At the time, Houston actually did feature films as well. And uh, Austin was a little bit different because the judges are so different. Um, right. The judges pick just completely different films than they do in Houston. It's just a different group. Um, it's an exciting event. And in Austin, we also spawned another festival called the Austin After Dark Film Festival, mm. which isn't just comedy. But it is content that is intended for a mature audience. Um, we feel like that type of content is upper, underrepresented at a lot of mainstream film festivals because if you're at a huge, you know, popular film festival with a room full of people, you don't want to show films that have, you know, blood or, or maybe uh, scenes that are inappropriate for children or may deal with, um, you know, certain things. There's sex in some of the movies. Nothing is like pornographic or anything like that. But we do have scenes where there's some partial nudity or people get killed or things like that or car accidents or traumatic situations. And <coughs> excuse me, we cover science fiction, drama, um, horror films, um, suspense, uh, dark animation, type of stuff that you'd see on uh, Adult Swim, uh, dark comedies, things like that. So Austin After Dark is very, very different. When people come, and we usually do it on two separate days, when we, people come to Austin Comedy and they go to Austin After Dark, they're like, man, that's completely different. Yeah, like, right, they really are. Yeah, can be very, they're a very, very different festival. Sometimes a, a one film will sneak into both, but mm -hmm. it's very rare. You know, okay, one thing. Tell me where the people can just, like, find and be able to submit because a lot of people don't even know how to submit to film festivals, and especially yours. You have sure. such a variety. So, I mean, if you'd like to do that and just tell them where they can find you. Thank you. Well, my, my company is called Film Festival Circuit. And if you go to filmfestivalcircuit.com, every event we have is right on the front page. And there's a link if you just click on it, you'll see where you can submit your film or screenplay to one of our future film festivals. We have um, five film festivals in Texas, and we have four film festivals in the state of Oregon. So we operate in both markets, and we are adding a new one in Texas very soon, probably in San Antonio. Yes. Um, and that'll be coming up soon. That'll be our 10th event. Wow, awesome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am with Michael Fair, man. He has a lot to offer, and I'm looking forward to being here because, man, filmfestivalcircuit.com. Thank you, man. You know this guy, I'm going to say this right here. Jesse is a Houston institution. Thank People you. do not understand how many <laughs> films he's been in, how many things he's done, and, and where his career has taken him. And I uh, love Jesse, man. I love having him here. I actually man. haven't seen you in a year. We talk all the no time. time, but we have seen this you This is like, so. right, man. It was yeah. like a long time ago. I don't even remember, but... You Thank know, you, man. I, and I forgot all the restaurants in Houston, so when I go back, you got to take Oh, yeah, man. Food. Oh, that's one thing you do. I need to eat, too, after what happened. <laughs> oh, anyway, yeah. I love you, man. We'll be talking later. I, I love it. I can't wait till you get to Houston so we can do our thing. I'm Jesse Adams, and this is Mr. Michael Fair, and you're watching The Actors Warehouse on YouTube. And Thank don't you. forget to like and subscribe. And get out to these festivals. Talk to you soon, man. Thanks. The Actors Warehouse. The Actors Warehouse. The Actors Warehouse is your industry collection.